You will notice that two chairs are vacant. Brother Elder Hubie Brown of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles and Elder Al Masani, an assistant of the Twelve, upon advice of their doctors, they have remained at home. We had been hopeful that they might be able to attend at least one of the sessions before the conference ends. Other than that, all the general authorities are in attendance. It is proposed that we sustain Joseph Fielding Smith, prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, with Harold B. Lee, first counselor in the First Presidency, Nathan Eldon Tanner, second counselor in the First Presidency, President of the Council of the Twelve Apostles, Harold B. Lee, and acting president of the Council of the Twelve Apostles, Spencer W. Kimball. And as members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, Spencer W. Kimball, Ezra Taft Benson, Marky e. Peterson, Delbert L. Stapley, Marion Z. Romney, LeGrand Richards, Richard L. Evans, Hugh B. Brown, Howard W. Hunter, Gordon B. Hinckley, Thomas S. Monson, and Boyd K. Packer, with Eldred G. Smith as Patriarch to the Church the counselors in the First Presidency, the Twelve Apostles, and the Patriarch to the Church as prophets, seers, and revelators. All who are in favor of this proposition will manifest it by raising the right hand, opposed, if there be any, by the same sign. It is proposed that we sustain as assistants to the Twelve Al Masoni, El Rael Christiansen, Sterling W. Sill, Henry D. Taylor, Alvin R. Dyer, Franklin D. Richards, Theodore M. Burton, Bernard P. Brockbank, James A. Cullimore, Marion D. Hanks, Marvin J. Ashton, Joseph Anderson, David B. Haight, and William H. Bennett. And as trustee and trust and president of the corporation, Joseph Fielding Smith, all in favor of this proposition will manifest by raising the right hand, opposed if there be any by the same side. As members of the First Council of Seventy, Seymour Dilworth Young, Milton R. Hunter, Bruce R. McConkie, Albert Theodore Tuttle, Paul H. Dunn, Hartman Rector, Jr., and Lauren C. Dunn. As the presiding bishopric, John H. Vandenberg, presiding bishop, Robert L. Simpson as First Counselor, and Victor L. Brown as Second Counselor. All regional representatives of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles as they are presently constituted. Howard W. Hunter as church historian and recorder, with Earl E. Olson as assistant church historian and recorder. The Priesthood Welfare Committee, John H. Vandenberg, chairman, Henry D. Taylor, managing director. The Priesthood Home Teaching Committee, Marion G. Romney, chairman, John H. Vandenberg, vice chairman, and Boyd K. Packer, managing director. Priesthood Missionary Committee, Spencer W. Kimball, chairman of the executive committee. Gordon B. Hinckley and Thomas S. Monson as vice chairman, with Bruce R. McConkie as managing director. Priesthood Genealogical Committee, Howard W. Hunter as chairman, and Theodore M. Burton as managing director. The following as members of the Church Board of Education, Joseph Fielding Smith, Harold B. Lee, Nathan Eldon Tanner, Spencer W. Kimball, Ezra Taft Benson, Mark E. Peterson, Delbert L. Stapley, Marion G. Romney, LeGrand Richards, Richard L. Evans, Hugh B. Brown, Howard W. Hunter, Gordon B. Hinckley, Thomas S. Monson, Boyd K. Packer, Alvin R. Dyer, Marion D. Hanks, Albert Theodore Tuttle, Paul H. Dunn, John H. Vandenberg, and Bell S. Spafford. As the Commissioner of the Church Educational System, Neil A. Maxwell. As the Commissioner of Health Services Corporation, James O. Mason. As the Church Finance Committee, Wilfred G. Edling, Harold H. Bennett, Glenn E. Nielsen, Weston E. Hamilton, O. Leslie Stone, and as Church Auditor, James A. Norberg. All in favor of these propositions will manifest it by raising the right hand. Opposed, if there be any, by the same sign. As the General Auxiliary Officers of the Church, Sister Bell Smith Spafford as President of the Relief Society, with Marianne Clark Sharp, First Counselor, Louise Wallace Madsen as Second Counselor, with all members of the board as at present constituted, as the superintendency of the Sunday School, Russell M. Nelson as general superintendent, Joseph B. Worthelin as first assistant superintendent, Richard L. Warner as second assistant superintendent, with all members of the board as at present constituted, as the superintendency of the Young Men's Mutual Improvement Association, 
W.J. Eldridge as General Superintendent, George Richard Hill, First Assistant Superintendent, George I. Cannon, Second Assistant Superintendent, with all members of the board as at present constituted. As the presidents of the Young Women's Mutual Improvement Association, Florence Smith Jacobson, President, Margaret Romney Jackson, First Counselor, Dorothy Porter Holt as Second Counselor, with all members of the board as at present constituted. As the presidency of the Primary Association, Laverne Watts Parmalee as president, Naomi Ward Randall as first counselor, and Florence Reese Lane as second counselor, with all members of the board as at present constituted. All in favor of these propositions will manifest it by raising the right hand. At the Tabernacle Choir, Isaac M. Stewart as president, with Richard P. Condy as conductor, with J. E. Welch as assistant conductor. As Tabernacle Organist, Alexander Schreiner as chief organist, and Robert N. Kundick, Roy M. Darley, and Frank W. Asper as organist emeritus. All in favor of this proposition will manifest it by raising the right hand. Opposed, if there be any, by the same sign. It would appear from here that all the voting has been unanimously in the affirmative. Thank you for your sustaining vote.